Today is Monday, March 11th, 3.06 p.m., and we are here in Central Square in Keene. What brought you out here today? Well, I'm, um, I teach at the high school, and I'm an advisor for the Students for a Free Tibet Club. And um, we are one chapter of the international organization, the Students for a Free Tibet. And we do this uh, every year to mark the anniversary on, well, it's March 10th, but because that was a Sunday, it's Monday, anyway. Um, to mark the anniversary of the Tibetan uprising in 1959, and then this coincides with when the Dalai Lama uh, had to flee Tibet. Um, so each year, this is the day that um, people around the world who want to speak out for the Tibetans um, and in hopes that we can get some some rights for the Tibetan people inside China. Is there an international group that Tibet is seeking recognition from, or is there like a next step for them as far as protecting well, their sovereignty? Yeah, the, the, the Dalai Lama, because Tibet is now part of China, they took it over. Um, the Dalai Lama wants Tibet to be an autonomous region. In other words, that the Chinese would allow them to have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, um, and that kind of autonomy, although it would remain part of China. That being said, there are a lot of Tibetans who want Tibet to be completely free from China. So it's sort of a in, in flux a little bit. So there's no really easy answer to that. Well, thanks for being out here and representing what is one of, so one of uh, the more controversial territorial regions in the world and representing some people. Yeah, well, thank you.